the True Jihad, Part 13 of 14, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on October 4, 2021. Warning. Sensitive content. I know that somewhere is saying that some vegans don't want it because it has animal. Yes. And for that, they refuse for ethical reasons. Yes, Master. They believe that vegan food protects them. Oh, okay. Somehow, and lessens the karma with the virus. Yes. Yes, that's true also. Even scientifically proven and research say that the vegan people are less susceptible to the pandemic. Yes. And even if they have an infection, for some reason, it's milder and easy to cure and quick to recover. It's official. It's uh, open. Yes. Uh, the research was published on the news. Yes, yes. So that's why for ethical reasons and for confidence in uh, veganism, some of the vegan people, they refuse. Yes, Master. I wouldn't want to be responsible for other people's no, animal suffering. You know how people test in the laboratory. Yes, they make yes. the animals suffer so much that they could not even cry. And even if they cry, nobody cares. They treat them just like stones or something. Yes. Oh my God, my heart pains so much whenever mm. I happen to see these things. And recently, PETA advertised it on the news as well about the suffering of these uh, laboratory animals. My God, we are like devils. Yes. We are worse than devils in hell. Because the devils, they are allowed to only punish the bad ones, the sinful ones. Yes. We punish everybody, even innocent animals. They were in the jungle, they were roaming freely, they eat only leaves. And we catch them, we trap them. Yes. Bring them to uh, our house and then torture them day in, day out, just for some experimentation. And most of it uh, has no use. Yes, I understand. Just to experiment, just to do things. But just like the Japanese people, they keep catching whales still. Yes. And then the saying for scientific reasons. My God, not ashamed to talk. Not really ashamed to lie. Yes, the wicked. What for they go to the temple, bow to the Buddha and the meditation? All these lies. Yes, Master. Just to eat, because they're used to it, and they like it. And rich people will pay for it, no matter what. Yes. <laughs> Just to make profit out of the innocent, to satisfy their tongue. Don't care how cute. And you kill a whale, he dies slowly, he dies painfully, because he's so big. Yes. And they want it fresh, even. So fresh. they cut him into pieces when oh. he's still agonizing, still alive and still feeling. You know, we are wicked. We are worse than devils, okay? Yes. Devils, they catch sinful people. When they go to hell, they punish them only. We don't care who is who. We just punish. We just do anything. We kill babies and we kill innocent animals. We kill innocent beings from the depth of the sea. We fish them up, <laughs> net them up just to eat. The birds are in the sky. We shoot them down to eat. And the innocent deer and all that, they live in their forest. And we surround them, corner them, and then shoot just to put their heads on the wall for a trophy. Yes. There are things like trophy, hunting even, just to be proud that you kill some innocent, defenseless one. has nothing to do with you. They live in a deep forest. Yes. They eat just leaves and grass. They harm nobody. Yes, yes. We are not worthy at all to be given so much abundance on this planet and to be given life, to breathe good air. And to have an abundance of things to eat. We are not worthy. I'm telling you. Yes, Master. I feel ashamed. I feel ashamed. Because I was also forced to eat animals before. From my parents on. But I vomit, okay? And I love every time there are some vegetables. I eat the whole all by myself. Yes. <laughs> I said quickly boil them and eat them all by myself. Yes. Yeah? Before my parents <laughs> even have a chance. <laughs> I say buy more. Buy more. I took the whole bucket, yes. the whole uh, pot, and then all the fruit in the garden, I am the one to eat. Only one. <laughs> because I hunt them. I know where they are and when they're ripe. Yes. Every day I check. Different corner. Sometimes they're hidden and I have to eat them. <laughs> I find them. <laughs> yeah. And I also eat the wild fruit from the streets and all that, uh, in the 
forest, there are some berries, stuff like that. I know which one. I know what to eat all the time, okay? <laughs> but I'm ashamed to be a human. We are so wicked. We are so devilish. We are worse than devils. Yes. Now we cannot even condemn the devils or demons. We are worse than them. Yes, Master. We punish everything, everyone, whatever we can, as long as they don't defend themselves. Yes. They cannot defend themselves. Then we just torture them, punish them. Oh my God, we are so terrible. We are terrible. We are the most terrible animals on this planet. <sighs> so we deserved all the pandemics and the disasters because of all that. Yeah. <sighs> even God could not forgive us because we don't even repent and you turn. Yes, ma'am. Nowadays, it's easy to know how the animals are suffering. Before, we didn't have the internet and all that. They hit all the slaughterhouses and abattoirs far away in a rural area somewhere. And we can pretend that we don't know. But nowadays, the internet shows everything. Many films show everything. Yes. We cannot have a heart to continue eating meat on the suffering and agonizing of other beings, living, breathing beings, killing them in such a torturous way. Worse than, it's like hell. Yes, Master. We make our planet become a living hell. And we make us become demons. Blood drinking, blood thirsty demons and devils. And we make ourselves like subordinates of Satan. Wow. Not the children of God. Yes, Master. The things we do are devilish. Yes. How can you call yourself children of God anymore? You do just like Satan and devils do. Then you are the subordinate of Satan. Yes. He will have an excuse to catch you and bring you to hell. Because you belong to him. Yes. The way you do things, you will belong to hell. And there you will pay dearly. And no one's there to help you. No matter if you're president or king or even a pope or whoever you can call yourself, whatever position you're in, you will suffer just the same. Yes, Master. Maybe even more. Because if you know the law and you break it, then you will be punished more than the ignorant. That is the rule also. Yes, I understand. Just like in France, they even punished former President Sarkozy to do some jail time because he was connected with some bribery or something, or he took some money for the election that he was not supposed to. Yes. And they say that you were a lawyer. You know, you should not. Yes, I understand. There's no leniency for him, especially if you're president. Or even before that, if you're a lawyer, you should know the law more than common people. Yes. So there's no leniency for him. Yes, I understand. So just like us, we know everything nowadays, and we still sin. Then God cannot forgive us, but still have a door. Just turn vegan, repent, that's all they need to do. Yes, Master. And I promise I can help them. Just turn vegan, you turn, and everything else will be wiped out. I will have the power to do that. I will wipe out everything. Thank you, Master. Whatever they have done before, it will be all forgiven. I am empowered to do that. I can. But all they have to do is just be vegan, repent. That's all there is. Is that difficult? No, Master. It's not. And that's a bargain I can have. Yes, thank you. But I need them to cooperate. That's all. Just turn vegan and repent. That's all I need. That's all I need as an excuse to help. Yes. Then they will never have to go to suffer in hell. Even if they might not have enough merit to go to heaven, they can be reborn again and enjoy human life in health, happiness, and a sufficient life. Yes. But I can take them all to heaven if they just be vegan and repent. This is not a big condition, is it? No, it's not. Normally they should do that already anyway. Yes. They should be vegan. They should not eat other animals, beings. They should not eat meat. No. Because it's killing other innocent and living beings in such a torturous way. Before they die, they are tortured many other ways. Yes. They are forced to go into the antiseptic tank even first, and then kill themselves, drown themselves, or trample upon each other because of the coercion. Yes. Oh my God, I cannot talk quick big enough. And all the animals in the laboratory, my God, it gives me pain every day. Too much. Sometimes I say to God, oh God, I cannot bear no anymore. My heart cannot take it. I don't know if I can continue to live in this world like this. <sighs> I mean, 
if we didn't know, then it's an excuse. But we know everything now. Yes. The more we do the SMTV, the more we know. And it's just too much for my little heart. Sometimes I thought I could die from anguish, seeing all this suffering. Yes. <laughs> we thank you for enduring for, for the world. I know all the joys. We thank you for always uh, paying attention to the details and, and loving the animals and loving the uh, the people and just everything and sacrificing so much. It's all natural to me. Yes, Master. I didn't feel anything, okay? Yes. didn't feel like something so hard or so good or so... Just natural, like the sun gives you warmth. Yes. I just do what I do, huh? Yes, Master. The person who wants to guide you to the north, he is unconditional. He wants nothing from you. Yes. But you have to go that way. If you go south, he can't help you. It's not because he wants something from you, but that's the way you have to go. Yes, Master. Just like in this world, we have North Pole and South Pole. It's like that. Yes. You cannot point to the South Pole and say, this is the North Pole, okay? Yes. And you cannot even go to the North Pole and say, I want to be in the South Pole. Yes, I understand. You have to do what you have to do. You have to do the right thing. If you're hungry, you eat. Yes. If you're thirsty and you ask me how I can quench my thirst, then I give you water. Yes. And you drink it. That's all. It's not a condition. It's not like a precondition. It's just the way you should do for yourself. Just like vegan. That's the way. The right way to help yourself, help the world, and go to heaven. Yes. That's the only way. Yeah. It's benevolent. Yes. I don't mean you may go to a higher heaven, but you go to heaven first, okay? Yes. And then from there, the master, or I myself, will continue teaching them so that they can go higher and higher. Yes, I so understand. So that they will be completely out of the cycle of birth and death and vengeance and payment and karmic death and all that. Yes, master. Now you understand. Understand. No condition. Yes, master. No condition. God is absolutely unconditional. But if you choose to go in harm's way, then you will be harmed. Yes. If you go jump into the fire, you'll be burned. Don't say nobody told you. Yes, yes. If you can't swim and you go into the sea, deep sea, you die. Drown. Yes. If you're thirsty and you don't drink water, then you will die of thirst. If you're hungry, you don't eat food, then you will die of starvation. Yes. <sighs> this is a complicated world we live in. That's why... If you go to heaven, you go with the master, then the master is a guide. Yes, I see. He, she knows the road. So if you follow her or him, you are out of the mess, out of the quagmire, out of the labyrinth. And then you'll be free. And if you insist you stay there and walk around, around, then that is your problem. But it's not the guy's demanding to do anything for him or to his liking. It's just the way it is. There's one way to go out of the labyrinth. Then you go with him and then you'll be out. Yes. If you don't trust him, you think you find a way yourself, you can't. Because you don't know it. Okay? That's right. It's a trick like that. Maybe you can, but it will take a long, 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 long time. So just if you follow your own way of life, maybe you go to hell and then you may be clean of your sins one day after hundred or few hundred years or thousand years. You come out and you start anew again and you try your way again. Wow. Nobody can do that. Only with the guide. Yes. Because the guy already came from there and go from back there. If somebody already go from New York to California back and forth all the time, wouldn't he be able to point the way to you? Yes, for sure. Yeah, and if he's going back to California for business, if you follow him, wouldn't you find California? Yes, definitely. Sure. That's what it is, you see? Yes. There's a map. There is a GPS. You have to follow it. Yes, Master. My God. <laughs> so simple. But the law of the universe is not easy for everybody to know. Just even in your country, there are many laws you don't know also. Yes, that's right. Not to talk about some mysterious universal law. Yes, understand. But when it comes down to it, there's nothing mysterious, actually. It's very Einstein. Yes. When you stay in the same place, you throw something out and you stay long enough, that thing come back to you. Yes. Boomerang. Yes. Okay? So it's very scientific, logical, yes, very yes. Einstein. To me, it is very Einstein. So what you sow, so, so you reap that. So you plant the apple, you will have an apple fruit. Yes. If you plant a thorn bush, 
it will grow to be a thorny bush. Okay, huh? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Master. You happy with that? Yes, very happy. Thank you always for your answers and your, your, your truth.